Here I am on the east ironing board I'm trying to get this fucking bolt down. Fucker. So I lugged this all the way up to the crag. It's fucking ridiculous. And then I my drill too. It's also pretty ridiculous. There goes the bolt just like that bam 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 it's actually a shorty not a longy i was told it was a long bolt that's not that long but here we go that was the first step so i'm just going to try to drill into it a little bit wiggle it out There we go. Here's that piece. That's part of the five piece bolt. So I'm gonna try to aim for my pack here. Right in the box. So I've just got a little cutting oil. I'm gonna try not to get this on the um, climbing rope or anything, but it's probably fine. Here's the fun part, get to use the rock drill. So this is a Bosch Bulldog. Just clip it into us somewhere. And it's on hammer drill. We're using an 18 millimeter bit. And we're just gonna try to go straight and bore this hole out. We're going to clean it, make sure there's no metal shavings in it still, and then see if I can go back down and get the bolt and put some glue in there and get it going. So my, oh look, there's the cone. That's what I was drilling against. That's not ideal, but now we know the cone is out. That's the last piece of metal. So I'm just going to save that. And that means I can keep drilling and we're gonna go pretty deep because this is a deep, deep glue in. So the easiest way to size one of these bolts is it's gonna to come to right here. That's where it's flush with the rock. So if we just put this right here and then add a little bit of space because you know you never wanna actually be too shallow. I'm just gonna mark it with a little piece of climbing tape. And that doesn't really matter because you know that's just tape. It'll just wear off or you can take it off if you do a different bolt, but see, I'm leaving a little bit because that's not quite where it, it stops. It'd be more like that actually. So that's just leaving about two eighths of an inch. So got the bolt now, as you can see, that is not enough depth. Still gotta go quite a ways. So I have it marked on the tape and the drill. So we're just gonna bring our drill back out.
So now we bring out a brush, the diameter of the hole. Lots of dust in this hole. And we gotta get it all out. It's not gonna have good adhesion. So you just oscillate between a couple brushings and then stick the blow tube in it. And we're trying to go until there's absolutely no dust. I mean, we really don't want dust to be coming out for the best, uh, best adhesion of the glue. So just oscillate back and forth. Maybe do this five times. I mean, you're only gonna do it once for this bolt, so you might as well do it right. Plenty. And then you just join it. That's beautiful. So now let's see how the bolt fits into this perfect little recession. You do a little more on the bottom there, but we don't want to go crazy because I'm not trying to make it look worse. Um, it'll all get filled in with glue. It still fits a carabiner. It's deep, perfect, and it'll prevent twisting. So the first step in doing this glue stuff is we've got to mix the glue. So there's a mixing nozzle, and then I've got this super long nozzle on, so you either bring a bag or a glove, or something. We're just gonna start pushing glue. So it's a nice uniform color. It does, this does waste a little glue, but you really want it to be mixed in the mixing nozzle before you're trying to do some bolting with it. So it's quite a bit of glue I've just squeezed out of this thing. So I think that's good. It's a nice uniform color. Part A and part B are mixed. So gonna get this later. I'm gonna toss that down by my stuff. And we're just gonna go straight into the hole as deep as we can and start squeezing. And as you back out, you squeeze. And these big holes are gonna use a lot of glue. Close to the front here. Now, some is going to spooge out, so we don't actually need to fill it 100%. And it doesn't look like it's going to drip, but I'm just going to back off the gun a little bit. So that's hanging in a safe place. So now we're going to grab our bolt. And it's nice and clean and fresh. And we're just gonna twist as we go in. And it is gonna spooge out a little bit, but that's okay. Let me get to that final twist. I'm just gonna rock it gently back and forth. Gently get that off. And I really should just be. And we can go ahead and do our final shaping and then our final placement of where we want it. That's pretty dang good. And it is recessed, we could recess it a little more, but I don't want it to not be clippable. 
And so that matches the color of the rock pretty good, the glue he gave me. We're gonna do one more final thing to make it really solid. And we can put some in the middle of the bolt too. That looks, that looks really, really good. And you want to try not to get this stuff on the rock, but it's a little hard sometimes. But this rock actually is great because it, everything blends in. But I'm going to take my glove off inside out. And my other one. And we're just going to do one final thing. Toss those, grab those in a second. I'm going to grab my rock dust that I so preciously saved earlier. And I'm just going to throw it on there. And so once that's dry, it'll pretty much all blow off and just be a little bit better color. But that looks great. And so you'll see what I mean. I'm just pretty much just colored the cement a little bit with that dirt. And now I'm blowing it off, trying not to touch the bolt. That's a little bit of the cutting oil. That'll have to get washed off later, probably when I come back. But overall, the bolt looks really, really good. Super safe, super bomber, super long bolt in this amazing Dan Michael route. Slave to the rhythm. So one funny part about the glue is once you mix it in here, the um, nozzle actually has to get thrown away this whole piece because it's mixed all up in there and it starts drying near the tip. And so you actually just will swap the nozzle to use the rest of the glue. As you can see, it's not really quite used up. I only used a, probably a quarter, looks like to about there, maybe a little less than a quarter. That was a pretty big bolt. I drilled a, a pretty big hole with this bad boy. So it's probably about 85 degrees in the shade. So you look at this, this is from 10 minutes ago. That glue is already dry and it's going to cure overnight and become as hard as concrete, if not harder and stronger. And it makes one of the safest climbing bolts on earth. So the last thing I'm going to do is replace these Menk carabiners that people have been using for top roofing um, with these super nice cold shot Loroffs that Greg gave me. And so that'll kind of finalize the route. Look how sick that is. Such a sick route. And look where we are. Such a sick route. And that right there is Home Master Lombada. The Colin Lance 14A. First 14A in Boulder, I think. All the way up to those chains right there. Such a hard sequence.
Yeah. And you just gotta come into this one. So you do the crux kind of on this hold, that hold, then you get to this hold, which I think they called the skinhead, or Dan called the skinhead, and then you do kind of like a heinous traverse, really bad holds with really good feet, kind of weird feet. You get over here, go into this, and then you actually will bump to that jug up there. It's quite a cool sequence, but if this thing went, it would really change the route a lot. This is such a sick route. Here's the skinhead hold. The upper crux is right here. These slopers. And then you top out into the sun. Such a cool route. Such a cool route.